Hey guys, it's Kelly here, and um, today is like a twofer because I made um, a card for Casing Genius based on Darnell's, and it's this one right here. And um, so I made it, and I edited the video, and I did all that fun stuff. And then um, I talked to some friends, and it seemed like um, uh, like the videos that are more rushed are less me, and they're more like what everybody else is doing, and I don't want to do that. So um, I decided we're going to do an experiment. We're going to do some research, and um, I'm going to post both, both videos. And so this one's going to be, it's the same image, it's um, wax window, and I took off the border for my purposes. Um, but this one I'm going to Copic Color, and this one we're just going to chat like we were chatting before. So let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. And um, I picked out, let's look at these, I picked out lots of um, Copic markers that match the same kind of colors that I were using on the first card. So it's not going to be this quite exactly the same thing, but it's going to be a little the same thing. So I'm using RV02 is my lightest pink color. I'm going to start with this one here. And I'm just going to flick it on there. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is about my ramblings, but apparently people think I'm hysterical, which is funny because I've never thought I was funny. Um, and um, I don't know. I guess I have a real fear. I was talking to my friend um, Wida, and moving on to RV04, and she was like, "Don't like slippery slope. Don't." don't lose yourself in what everybody else is is doing and I have a tendency to agree with her I like to watch YouTube videos um, that are that have some personality I mean god we're all people and um, I don't want to watch somebody where they're like Ben Stein Bueller 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 like who wants to watch that that's that's bad television um, actually that movie is hysterical um, but uh, <laughs> but nobody wants to listen to that all the time I actually had a um, we're moving on to RV09 I had a history teacher when I was in high school and he was my first class first period of the day and he I will not say his name I don't know if he's still alive or not if he's not God rest his soul um, but he sounded exactly like uh like Ben Stein. Oh my gosh. Just put you to sleep right first thing in the morning. Um, and I don't want to watch craft videos that look like that. So I'm assuming you don't want to watch craft videos that look like that. My darkest color here is going to be um, RV69. Hello. How about we put that where you can see it? A? All right. Look at I'm Canadian. A? Um, I really, I really am French Canadian. Um, I, my maiden name is French Canadian. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you've probably seen it. It's Trebo. I married Italian. Um, so that's where I got the Latavola. But I am, I am Canadian, so I'm allowed to say things like A. This, I'm just, um, you know, like I told you in, in my first video, um, I start with my lightest color, because otherwise I have a tendency to get a bit dark. Right now it looks just wretched, just like the worst thing you ever saw, but um, it'll get better. And I'm going, I, whoa, hello, sentence, why don't you come together for me there? I am um, working lightest to darkest and then the reverse, darkest to lightest. And that's, that's what works for my style of coloring. It might not work for yours. There's other people who do dark to light, and that works for them. So you find whatever your whatever your happy place is going to be, and do that. I'm doing this. So okay, and I've realized now, with all of the videos that I've been making, how much I say um and so. It was um just oh terrible when I was in speech class in high school just absolutely wretched how much I said 
um and so and I don't I'm gonna add some more RVO4 because I think it got a little bit lost in there so <laughs> oh my good god in heaven I say so so many times so much I am trying not to um, crouch down over my image so that you can actually hear what I'm saying because the problem is with the the rambling videos is that um, I don't I speak to the table I don't speak to the camera and so when I can do the voiceovers at least with the microphone you can hear me better so I'm trying to make sure I'm talking to the camera how about I just wave my hands around here a little bit because you know that's fun to look at and also now that I'm looking at the camera I'm realizing that um, my battery's dying so stand by one minute all right now we're all plugged in and we should be ready to go so any like time these coloring rambling videos they're just gonna be longer I'm sorry um, so this flower here I did in some shades of um, like peachy orange so I pulled out some of those I'm gonna be starting with YRO oh 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 does that make you think of um, New Kids on the Block am I totally aging myself did you like New Kids on the Block I had a towel I had a beach towel my sister, my grown, I'm the baby of my family. I have three. There's three of us. I have two older sisters. Um, but anyway, she, she actually, as an adult, when they did like their reunion tour, yeah, Kim totally went and saw them. I think they were with Backstreet Boys. I was never a big Backstreet Boys fan. But anyway, um, so this is just the same thing. And sometimes it's hard to see in these. Um, where like where your petal is or where your shading is going to be because there's just so much stuff on top of each other this one um to me this is the underneath of the petal and this is curling out like this way so i'm gonna put my shading on this side and leave this my light edge i love these little these little images they're super super cute and this is going to be why are hello YR61. Um, I just love, I just love coloring. I think that it's um, good fun. And there's actually, I'm sure you've probably seen on the internet, um, there's actually like studies now that show that coloring is in fact a stress reducer. Like, doesn't it just make you want to like run and scream and tell anybody who ever looked at you funny when you said you made cards that you were right? <laughs> it kind of makes me want to do that. I would love that. What do you, what's your hobby? Well, I make cards. You like cards? Like, like Hallmark cards? No, not like Hallmark cards. Like cards that are better than Hallmark. God. Um, yeah. People, like if you don't have crafty friends, and for a long time I didn't, um, I just, it was just me in my craft room and you know, um, I had my little blog, but there I didn't have anybody to talk to about the things that I that I did, and it was so oh my god, so frustrating because people would look at you like, "What do you mean you color? What do you mean you make cards?" Um, so I'm so glad now that I have some crafty friends that I can talk to, whether it be about new product or something that I can't get to work for me. Um, you know, it's just fun to have people who understand wire 68. I actually managed to nail that one pow right there on the camera the first time. So good for me. When I do my shading um, for my flowers, I have a tendency to leave like this area, the middle area as my highlight. Um, you know, if you were using a light source or whatever, you you wouldn't do that. It would be wherever your light source was. But when I color flowers, I just color them however I want to color them. I, and that highlight in the center is what makes me happy. So that's what I do. And then I try to leave my lines um, pretty organic. Like you don't want them to be all just like this. Like see how that just looks poorly. So 
like you want to add in little bits, make pieces longer or shorter. Just the variation is what's going to make your flower look better. Um, so while we're on the subject of um, coloring, did you see that my friend, which was so sweet of her and so unexpected, um, Sandy Alnock, she has a second channel, <laughs> which I did not know about, and um, good for her because I can't even like, I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing with the first. Um, so again, we're going back. Let me switch it. Beep. Y R O two. Um, I'm just going back over till I get the blend that I like. Um, but anyway, so Sandy has the second channel, which I did not know anything about, and um, she sent me a text message last night and was like, "Hey, I totally meant to ask your permission because I talk about your." video like I would be like no <laughs> no Sandy don't share my video what's the matter with you why would you think that was okay yeah like anybody ever said that to her um if they did they were a lunatic but anyway um so she did she mentioned my video which was super kind of her she was one of the first people who um sent me a message when I posted my video and she was you know oh I'm so proud of you and um, you know, I hope you keep doing them, which was, which was wonderful. I just really, um, really, really kind of her because we all need encouragement to see, you know, to keep doing what we're doing. And so we're on the last color now, and this one I'm really not very specific with. I just kind of flick it around to get a good blend and you can see like I'm getting in there it's it's totally okay my uh the center is going to be brown so you won't be able to see that but see the point is see right here where this highlight is on the middle it makes it look like that petal is bending out versus just flat and nobody i mean that's not what we want we don't want flat so i'm going back to the pinks now this is rv it's upside down and not even on the camera RVO2 um, so yeah a lot of the people who know me in real life said they felt like these videos were just like you know how it is to sit next to me and craft and um, I hope that's true because I really would like for people to know um, that I'm I'm just a person like you're a person and I make these videos because I think that they should be helpful and they should be fun. Um, but, I mean, if you have a question, if there's something that you want to know, if there's something that I'm doing that you're like, hey, this, I think this could be better, uh, I am all ears. I am, I think that people only get better with constructive criticism. So, lay it on me. Um... So we're just, you know, going along here, adding in this, this fun little sheeting. I used to, when I, um, when I bought my Copics, I bought them off of, Jennifer McGuire has this great, um, if you're starting your Copic collection, things that she recommends. Now every color artist likes things differently. I love bright colors and Jennifer loves bright colors. So I felt totally comfortable going off her recommendations but like my friend Marika she asked me for some color recommendations and I just I've watched um, enough of her videos and visited her blog enough to know that she likes things more with a gray base not such a bright um, color and I flat out told her like the colors that I use are not going to be the colors that you're going to want to use it's just not going to be your bag. And um, so we talked about it and we were able to come up with some ones that we thought were going to be good for her. Um, but so, yeah, look at different color artists and see what um, which color combinations they're using that you like. Not what their favorite colors are. Because what their favorite colors are might not be what you prefer to color with. And I added back in 
the um, RV04 and I feel like it was too much. And then I also think I want this edge right here to be darker because this petal is overlapping that one. So I'm going to add in a bit more, a bit more dark there. I feel like that's better. This tip I think is too light. So I'm going to add in some more pink there. Just, just till you're happy with it. You know, there's not like the end all be all of, um, of crafting. You know, everybody likes different things. So, um, for this next one, when I did the watercoloring, I actually did, um, a combination of pink and yellow. Well, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Why not? So anytime you're, um, I don't know if you know how the Copic system works. This O basically means that it's, it's brighter when you get up to here. Like this is a... Let me see what I can find here. This is a 34, so this is a 3, and you can see um, how much grayer you could see if I would put it on the camera. Oh my god. Anyway, you can see how much, it's not just darker, but it's, it has more of a gray base. It's less saturated. This is going to be brighter. So um, when you're mixing colors, like I'm about to mix a pink and a yellow. I'm going to go back in here and I have a RV11 and I have a Y11 and because they're the same saturation they should work together fairly nicely to get a blend that will look good. Um, you don't want to mix anything that's going to be just too crazy. Um, I'm trying to look and see where my I think I did this as the center, which I'm now looking at it. I don't even think that was right. Oh, lordy. So I'm still going to add in um, some more shading down here because I want them to, you know, fit in. I don't want it to be all um, grayed out. I want it to still have that highlight. But um, this is RVO2, by the way. Um, but where those colors meet, you want to have two that are of a similar uh, saturation so that they will play nice together. And then I'm just going to blend out this pink back out. And then we're going to get in, we're going to move into the yellows. So that way this color will have... So now we're going in... Um, this is... Oh, not the right one. Y11. So I'm just going to... Because what's comfortable for me is to flick away. That's not going to be comfortable for everybody. Some people like to flick um, towards them. That is just not the most comfortable way for me. So I'm going to get this down here. And right now they're really not blending. But when you come back in, um, and you want to get them while they're wet. Don't let them, don't let them dry on you. Don't let them do it because um, then they won't work as nicely together. And whatever color you put on the top like, is going to be the more predominant color. So if you want your flower to look more yellow, um, then leave the yellow on top. I don't. I want my flower to be more pink. So I'm going to blend that back out with the pink. I don't like that there's no highlight here, so I am going to add some darker yellows onto the top. And I hadn't planned on doing this wire for, so I'm kind of like pulling them out and just seeing how how this goes. Um, I'll probably have to go back in with my pink again. What are we doing here? Um, maybe we'll do some Y08. Just to get that little bit of variation in there. These um, smaller petals, you're not going to be able to see it as well. Just because that's the way petals work. I mean, when they're smaller and everything's more confined, it's harder to get 
um, that good. This is why 26 where that why? needs to go. Oh my. But, you know, I didn't. So I'm just adding in a little bit of dark so it doesn't feel so flat to me. And then back in with the Y08, Y04, and the Y11. And I'm just, just putting it down. That's not what I want. I want the Y11. And I think that in all my blending, I lost a lot of the, um, the feathering down here at the bottom. So I'm going to try to bring some of that back in. This is going to have to be a little darker because that petal is following behind. And anything that's behind is a little, should be a little darker. It puts it in the back. Um, so it's not as noticeable. And I think I'm even going to go actually just a little bit, not a whole lot, um, just a little bit of RV09. Just and where I think it's going to be the darkest. I feel like I'm talking down again. Um, so yeah, the um, it's uh, seems like the videos where we just where we just sit and chat seem to be very popular. And I don't want to. I don't want to lose my, you know, who I am to to making these these videos. So I'm, um, mm, I'll just add in a few, just like stripes of yellow. I feel like that's okay. Now, if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to get that orange color, you can go back in with one that's a little more peach and just kind of rub this in here and flick it up and down. And then you might you know, maybe you, you like that better. They're, they're making, they're basically making that color themselves, but sometimes it's hard to get, um, the good blend from the, the brighter pinks to the yellows. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. This flower back here is going to be yellow and I have a really bad habit of, well, I'm done with my colors. Like I just throw them to the side. Um, so then when I'm trying to find them again, um, it doesn't really work out for me. I actually think this petal is part of this one. Um, again, now that I'm coloring it, but that's not the way I colored it when I did the other one. So that's not the way I'm doing it right now. These are some really, really pale yellows. Um, Y00, Y11. They're super pale on the, um, comparatively to everything else I have going on. And in the card, this is uh, Y21. Um, those yellows are a bit more on the orange side. So I decided not like here I used the really, really bright yellows. This is the first time I'm using, this is the Y24. And I thought maybe it might be okay as my darkest color. We're going to find out right now. Uh, just add in little bits of that in. So there's some something that's varying when you, that's one of the reasons why I have such a hard time coloring light colors because um, I feel like they all just blend together and there's not a whole lot of contrast so, right. so I think I'm okay with that one I might just add in like along the edges of the other petals I might just add in a bit more dark all right and then this one I did like um more of a pinkish red and I didn't really pull out any reds I just pulled out some pinks so maybe I'll do that maybe I'll pull some some pinkier reds. Ha ha ha. What are we doing? Mm. 
The R35, the coral is a pretty, pretty pink red. Um, the R27. And then I really cannot help myself. Um, I have to add in the, the lipstick red. So maybe we'll bring those in. See how we do with those. Um, I think my lightest color is going to be R32, which is the peach. It's legitimately called peach. Um, so again, <laughs> I almost made the same mistake that I did in the first card. Now I'm going to do this green as the base of the flower. So my shading for this one will come out this way. And we're just, you know, the broom, the broom swoosh right there. Kathy Rakusen calls it a broom. I, um, I totally get what she's saying with that because it's your push, push. Um, or if you want real fine detail, you want to use just, just a tip like this. This is a fairly large area though, so I feel like the long strokes are, are going to be fine because I'm filling in a lot of color. And then I'm just going in through the top to maybe get a little bit of a highlight in the center there. Alright. This is pretty close to my regular red uh, color combination that I use. I usually start with R32, go to R35, then R29, and um, R, what's the darkest one? R59? Yeah, Cardinal, R59. So that's, that's my favorite for reds. But maybe you like less pink reds. Maybe you like more tomato-y ones. There's Go see somebody else for that color company and I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And like I told you before, you're you're moving with with the petal. Whatever the the shape is. Cause that looks that'll help your coloring look more more natural. So this so for this card design, I don't think I'm going to do any embossing or anything in the background. I think I'm just going to, um, I think I might just leave it pretty plain. This is, um, I will be very interested to see who, who watches what, because, um, I got a lot of advice before I started making videos. I've actually owned this video camera since May. Shh. I asked for it for Mother's Day, and then my husband bought it. And then I did nothing with it. Like, z no things. It sat. I used the excuse that I didn't have another memory card. Um, which is not even right. But, back to this pink here. Um, they're crowding me. Do you see them crowding me? They're trying to get in on my business. Oh, nosy. Nosy Copic markers. Um... But I didn't, I didn't, use, I didn't use my, my camera. Um, I don't know. It's very intimidating. You know, you see all these people with these videos that are out there and you're like, well, what the heck do I have to offer that somebody else isn't already doing? Um, the reality of the situation is I don't. I don't have anything to offer that somebody else isn't already doing. But the other reality of the situation is, is that I don't care. Um, I think that making the videos is, is fun. So I'm going to add some pinks back in here. I'm going to start with RBO2. Straight up, full disclosure, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of playing around and seeing, um, seeing how it goes. Because I know I would like it to be a bit more pink. I also feel like I'm missing a lot of contrast. I feel like this petal, this petal, this flower is pretty flat right now so I'm just trying to see what we can do to bring in some some other colors uh, Copics are fairly translucent 
so you can you know play around and get um, get different colors with them they're so fun so anyway, oh, what was I saying I was saying um the videos so yeah I mean I don't really I don't have anything to offer that somebody else isn't already um, offering you just me just me myself and I um, and maybe that'll be enough for you to watch and maybe that won't be but uh, fortunately um, whether or not you I mean don't get me wrong I like the thumbs up and all that but whether or not you leave one is not you know gonna make or break my day well I shouldn't say that it's not gonna break my day it could make my day though it's um it's always it's always nice to get feedback and I try to get out there in in blog land and, and leave some whenever I whenever I can uh, life is just you know sometimes sometimes it works out for you sometimes it doesn't back to the R32 so so far I've used R32 35 37 R R good like a pirate <laughs> R29 and then I started bringing in some pinks um, uh, RV02 RV04 and a little bit of RV09 so let's take a look at that I don't think I'm going out far enough here so I'm gonna go back in with the two and just kind of bring that out to the edges oh see yeah, I like that much better I like that much better and then I still don't feel like there's enough contrast in here in the base so I am gonna bring in I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to the RV 69 and I'm gonna do a little bit of that just where I really feel like it should be darker Sandy Elnock the queen of of contrast um, always says like you need to you need to really don't get scared of the dark markers really bring them in there and um, she's right she's right because it it makes a world of difference in your in your coloring see like look at how much better that looks now it really looks like that flower is like like opening up um, so now we're gonna do the centers I pulled out a couple of E's for that and still some uh, some Y's I don't want them to be completely brown so this is E55 on the smaller areas here like I'm just gonna do I'm, I am gonna start with my dark because I'm not gonna go over it twice this is E53 just to kind of bring that out and then um, I actually think I'm gonna use the Y21 just to make it a bit more a bit brighter yeah I like that I think we're good with that one it gets more difficult as you um, like this this center is so large I'm going to have to um, you know try the to fill it up with the the flicking I'm gonna have to do it twice because I don't think I can get a good blend with just a one-time go um, if you can then do that too um, so see Sandy had mentioned um, when she mentioned my video on her second channel which was so very kind of her um, that it's really hard to chat your way through the coloring of these videos um, I don't maybe it is for her I don't know I just ramble 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 the whole time <laughs> the whole time so if there's topics of conversation that you would like to discuss or questions that you have um, please by all means leave me a comment and on the next video I'll see if I can touch on some of them um, I am I oh, see now I don't like the way that looks see it's just it's like blending and it's not enough contrast so I'm gonna go back in with this E 55 and really like put some dark down here and see if that makes it a little bit better um, but yeah anyway so if there's things that you want to talk about or topics of conversation you would like to discuss with me um, let me know 
I'm pretty intrigued by this uh, this periscope thing everybody's talking about. Um, it's basically like a live chat, which I think would be very interesting. Um, so maybe I'll look into doing that. That's I think they're supposed to be shorter videos though, and um, oh, and again, see, look at like this just blends right into this one, so I don't really like that. More dark. That's my answer. That's my answer. More dark. Let's see how that looks. I think it's because this flower has this Y21 in it that it's not um, it's not giving any kind of contrast to it. Where like this one's this one if you could see what I was pointing at, genius. Um, this one stands out more because it's it's orange and you can't really see it. This doesn't these have the yellows in it, so it's a little bit more difficult to see. And we're just gonna you know work that in there and see how it goes. I don't think that I'm gonna show the whole card making just because the coloring takes so long and I'm rambling the whole time um, and I'm not gonna edit it. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit it because that's what you guys asked for. <laughs> God bless your souls. Um, so I'm probably just gonna do the coloring and then um, somebody had made the comment on the first one that they uh, that I cut out the outlining and they really wanted to see um, how I outlined my images so maybe I will do that also on here and then just see kind of where it goes from there my greens that I'm going to be using are uh, YG01, YG03, YG06, and G07 there's not a whole lot of greens in here um, just very little so I'm not um, not a whole lot of shading going on so we'll just see how how this works out so that's the YG01 here I feel like it would be dark coming off the base as well as there and then again dark off the base. This one, because this petal is like flipping over it, it's kind of going to be dark on both sides because this is the petal, um, you know, that's bent back over it. And then YG06. This one here has a little bit of bleeding. The pink started bleeding. Um, I'm not really concerned about that. I feel like we can we can fix that up. And then just the darkest color, I'm just going to do just like a line for the contrast. Are you page turners? I'm a total page turner. I cannot help it. I have to have something in a certain um, direction for me to be able to color it. And these, like this is the second to lightest color. And in some of them, like these areas, because they're so much smaller, that YG01 is just gonna disappear. It's just gonna be gone. So, okay. So that pretty much takes care of the coloring for the flower. I'm going to, I outline all of my images and I, um, I just pick whichever one has the right line thickness. Sorry, I'm bumping you, bumping you all around. Um, and these ones are fairly thick, so I am going to, I'm going to use the 35. It's a, just a journaling pen from, uh, EK Tools. I found these on a retreat when I was on the retreat and, um, I really like them. They're Copic friendly. They they're not the nib's not replaceable like the Copic multi liner, but um, they they work for me. So here's the wonderful thing about outlining your image, besides the fact that it makes it okay. Look, let's just do you see the difference? 
because I can totally see the difference and it's just um, it's worth it to me it's worth it to to go back over them and just darken up that line you can also fix your boo-boos so here like see this petal I went out of the lines here so when I come down with my black marker instead of hugging the inside edge I'm going to hug the outside edge and then that little boo-boo disappears and you would never know that it was there um, you've heard me say it before I'm all about the little the little tips and tricks that will keep me from having to do something again 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 um, I just I don't like making the same thing more than once um, how do you guys feel about it you like making multiples it's I shouldn't say that I don't ever make multiples I like making card sets so like the same layout pattern um, but not the same colors or um, characters so like a lot of times in winter when I'm doing like Christmas cards I might do um, like if a set has I don't know a reindeer and a snowman and a Christmas tree like I'll do the same layout for each card but I'll put the snowman on one and I'll put the reindeer on another and so on and so forth just so it's the same idea and you can get them done quickly as far as the background layout but they all look different that I will do um, I will not continually make the same card even <laughs> even though a lot of times I totally feel like I am making the same card because I don't feel like my design varies uh, very much when you like clean and simple when that's what you uh, prefer it's very difficult to break out of some of the habits that you have and uh, so I, I do fall into that I feel like sometimes it's just not even it's just the same thing over 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 um, but when that happens you know I try to I try to shake it up sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't there's a lot of I don't want to rules I guess in in design like you can do whatever you want but there are certain things that are gonna look better than others like if you're working in groups of three um, we know that's more pleasing to the eye because if you put things in even numbers your mind automatically starts to to try to pair them um, to count them it's just how the brain works so if you put things in odd numbers um, it doesn't it your brain can more or more so enjoy the artwork and um, not so much the counting so this is this is the whole image um, normally when I have an image like this I will go around um, and do like a shadow or um, a light blue border so I'm going to I'm going to bust out some um, I think I'm gonna do some warmer grays just because this color is so very warm and um, well actually all my colors are are pretty warm and again um, I'm going to do as if see how this looks right here so my shadow because my light source is in the top right my shadow is down and to the left that's what we're that's what we're going for I'm gonna start with my darkest color which is W5 and then I'm just going to add in some shadows here to make it pop a little more. Everybody has their thing. You know, whatever whatever yours is. Um, mine's probably shadows. Kathy Rakusen's is white gel pen. Jennifer McGuire's is um, techniques. So you know everybody has something that they do with every single card and um, I just feel like something's missing if I don't do a shadow now sometimes the card just doesn't call for it so I don't do one um, but
but in situations like this where um, um, well you know what let's let's carry this all the way through let's let's carry this through like this one was on top this one's gonna be on top of this one this one is well do you feel like that's behind or on top of it I feel like it's behind it so I'm gonna leave this one alone but it's even like with the petals so this is coming this way these aren't gonna have any shading but the lights coming this way this petal is laying on top of this one and this petal is laying on top of this one this is pretty open here this one would have a shadow would cast a little bit of a shadow and this one here down here this would cast a shadow onto this petal below it this one would not because this is underneath this would cast a shadow here and this would but just on this side so it would also cast one onto its center like that then I go back in with the next lightest this is going to be W3 and start to kind of blend that out um, I'm sure that it seems scary because you're going right over that coloring that you just did um, it's fine it'll be pretty as a picture when we're done well I mean kind of like a picture I mean it is a stamp anyway um, <laughs> and you can decide how wide or thin you want your shadow to be I don't mind a, a bit of a wider shadow see now here I forgot this puddle this puddle would be laying on top of this one so there would be a shadow there so we gotta go back to the W5 and add that in this one if it was this way would not would not be casting a shadow so back to the W3 just to do that one um, these are all facing the light source so there isn't really going to be any shadow in the petals the last one I'm doing is W1 and I'm just going to take that out again if shadows are not for you and they might not be um, then don't don't do them do something else um, I know Kathy frequently puts you know like a light blue background um, which is beautiful I will sometimes do the light blue background so there see it makes it look like it's coming up at you off the page I don't necessarily love how sparse the background is so I might try to do something else with that um, let me just zoom out here a little bit that's in <laughs> um, so I feel like this is a little maybe too just plain so I might try to do something else back here maybe we'll do some blue blue greens um, just to make that pop out a little bit more now when I do this one I'm gonna get my hex chart here just so I can figure out what which ones I want like if I want it to be like this blue green is very similar to this one but this one is more green and this one is more blue so I think I want to go more blue so I'm gonna do the BG45 and this is um, I'm just gonna go right over the shading that we've already done with my darkest but I'm not gonna go into the petal I'm just gonna whatever's the whitest um, the darkest part on the white background not into the petal because I think that'll be fun and different and it just occurred to me as I'm doing this that I didn't blend out some of those petal shadows so I might have to go back in and do that too 
So quick, quick, switching back. I didn't get this one here, or this one here, or this one up here. I think those are all the ones I missed. And I'm gonna go back in with the W1, snag those up. Okay, I feel like that's better. Then I'm gonna go in with a BG11 and go over that blue. I'm not being too terribly careful um, about where or how wide the lines are. I think it'll be fine. And then all over, I'm gonna with my lightest blue, I'm gonna do BG. Um, oh, oh, oh. And there, look at, see, come full circle back to the boys to men. And with this one, I'm going to go over the whole go around over around the whole image um, just so it kind of stands out a bit more and back around this so yeah again we're going to be finishing up here um, so just let me know what you want to see what questions you have items you want to chat about if you prefer if I edit them or don't edit them um, because that's really the point of me doing this one right here um, is me being very very curious to see how exactly um, which ones you guys watch or which ones you would prefer to see so that's it I'm gonna turn this into a card and thanks for visiting with me and I hope that you have a wonderful evening all right bye